All right, welcome back, guys. We got a stack of parts started here. Um, got the heads, obviously, uh, from the last video. We got timing set, camshaft, head studs. Uh, we have, the only thing I'm really missing is push rods, and I have the LMR solid roller uh, push rod measuring tool there, piston to valve clearance, checker, whatever you want to call it. Um, then we can get our push rods ordered. Uh, we got the head gaskets sitting over there, intake gaskets, pretty much everything to get this thing put together. So I'm going to get busy. I'm going to put this camshaft in there. I'm going to wait until I get the engine running to tell you guys what camshaft it is. Maybe somebody will guess it right in the comments, but we'll see. Um, it'll be interesting to see if, if anybody guesses it right once they hear it, maybe. But um, anyway, I'm going to get to work getting the installing some of this stuff so we can get this thing down in the car all right so we got the cam put in uh the comp double roller timing chain um did the felpro 9333 head gaskets on there those are just my go-to on pretty much any small block ford that i've ever had my hands on um remember when we do head studs on the 82 decks or the 302s um you gotta use thread sealer and those bottom ones or else you're gonna end up getting water coming up through uh through your head studs on the bottom there so don't forget to do that um we got some prw roller rockers one six ratio these are the stainless self aligning units there um i've never ran them before i didn't really want to use aluminum roller rockers i've broken those in the past and multiple brands like i've just never really had very good luck with those so we're gonna try these out they look all right uh i say you know they're from california or whatever but i i think the parts are probably made in china and then assembled in california but it is what it is i'm gonna give them a shot um <clears throat> you got the lmr this is a solid roller lifter and adjustable uh push rod so i can get my length dialed in that's the only thing i need to do is order push rods and i need to figure out what length i have uh, right now, I'm getting ready to check piston to valve clearance um, and do that too. So let's get started. All right, we got our six and a half inch Trick Flow Chromoly push rods. So now we can get those put in there and uh, get our rocker arms and all that stuff put on there. And we're going to be that much closer to getting this thing all together. So let's get to work. All right, we're about on the home stretch here. But I just want to show. These gaskets are the 1262S, supposed to be for like, um, you know, large port heads, trick flow heads, stuff like that. Look how good they match up with those CNC port heads. I got my little cheater studs in there so I can set the intake down on there, get it right the first time. And I'm gonna try something I've never done before. I usually do the bead of ultra black along the China wall there, but this time I'm going to try the cork gasket. I still got to do a couple dabs on the ends there. But uh, I'm just going to see if it'll seal up because the last one I did with the with the Ultra Black, you know, it started leaking after a little while. So I'm just, I'm going to give the cork gaskets a try. I know everybody's like, throw those things out and do a beat of RTV. But I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. So let's get the intake down on here and see what it looks like. We got this... Uh, tough stuff standard rotation water pump there too um looks like a nice piece it's, i was just gonna get a cheap one like i put on the the stock motor that's in the car right now you know like a something from a, advanced or whatever but this one looks nice and it's made in america and i think it's made by hearst actually so uh we'll give it a shot it looks good so it's got that going on for us so Let's get this thing buttoned up and see what we can do. We got the Victor Jr. intake on and look at how good those intake ports line up on those SVE 185 heads. I can't wait to get this thing running, but I wanted to show you guys that before I stuff the carburetor on here. So let's get back to work. All right, here's the last look before I put the oil pan on. I'm just using a stock oil pan. I threw a fresh coat of black paint on there. Um, I had to heat up my 
pickup tube in a couple spots and bend it a little bit so it would fit in there, but I think we're gonna be all right. Got the trick flow balancer on there and uh, one piece gasket. I think we're gonna be all set here. So uh, let's finish button this thing up and see what the finished product looks like. Here it is, the 331 blown budget builds all done. Um, got the 185 CNC ported, SVE heads on it, Victor Jr., 650 double pumper carburetor. This thing should run really good. Um, just got to do a couple more things before I drop it in the car. I'm going to get a 3G alternator so I can just drop it all in. I'll do that whole upgrade and I'll do a video on that too. So stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, you know, this thing's ready to drop in. Should be a good running engine. Probably the best running engine I've ever had. It should sound really good too, especially with the new exhaust and stuff on the car. So stay tuned, see what we do next and see what the car is going to sound like. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.